Psalm 113. It's a cracker. Like many of the psalms in this little section, it starts and ends with a call to praise the Lord. We are to praise him. We thought yesterday in our longer devotion about the importance of praising him. Uh, and verses one to three really elevate that call, don't they? Uh, as we're told to praise the Lord, you his servants, praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised both now and forevermore. From the, I love this, from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Now, the reason we are called to praise him in this psalm is because that God, the, the transcendent, the almighty God, who sits enthroned on high, cares for the lowliest of people. That the sovereign God of all is yet still involved with this world. Let, let's see those things. Uh, firstly, in verses 4 and 5, we see, see the, the, the mightiness, the greatness of the Lord. He is exalted over all the nations. His glory above the heavens. I love this. Who is like the Lord our God? The one who sits enthroned on high. There is simply no one like God who rules and reigns over everything. He is this mighty, almighty, sovereign God of all. Yet, yet who is like him who's on high? And yet, verse 6, who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth. You see, as, as mighty and as massive as God is, he still cares for what's going on down here. He stoops to look at it. How does he do that? In what way? Well, verse 7 and up to 9 tell us. <coughs> Excuse me. First of all, there he raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. Uh, here the psalmist picks up on, on two of the that the lowliest of people, firstly in verse 7 there, that the poor and the needy, those without anything, uh, any, anything materialistically. And then secondly, in verse 9, it, it's the childless woman, who in that culture would have been uh, the, or the most needy, wouldn't have had that means of support and strength from others. And God cares even about the lowliest here on earth, which is wonderful. It's not just the great and the good, the powerful, the, the rulers. No, God cares about even the lowliest. Which is wonderful news for you and me. That he cares and is involved in our lives too. And I'm reminded again of those wonderful words that we saw in Philippians. Of, of Jesus' humility. As high and as great as he was. Yet because of his care for others. Came down to earth even giving up his life for us. What incredible might and mightiness and awesomeness that stoops so low. Praise the Lord.